It's been incredibly busy. Um, as a technology company, we're always slightly nervous of showers because obviously everyone wants to see finished product and looks at us slightly strangely first because we're delivering pure technology which is used in many of those products. We not only take business from visitors from the show, but also every exhibitor is either a customer or a potential customer for us. And hence, it's a great networking and great sales opportunity for us. We have been absolutely inundated with people looking at not only some of our older products, but two versions of brand new products that we're looking to disrupt the marketplace with over the next couple of years. We've been surprised by the volume of people looking at our Platform 3 single pass product head. We decided to bring it because it's the first time we've demonstrated four color single pass printing uh, in highly reliable, high productivity mode. We are running over five kilometers of substrate every single day. Fundamentally, that product is aimed at narrow sheet and web fed market, which we didn't expect to have that much interest at a show like FESPA. But fundamentally, because it's so different than everything else that's at the show, we, have, we basically haven't stopped running that rig. And at this rate, I'm going to have to order another 20 kilometers of material. Most of the machines that you'll see around the show use inkjet in a multi-pass fashion. You'll see carriages moving fairly rapidly backwards and forwards across media. But of course, if you look slightly more closely, you'll see the media are actually moving very, very slowly. The reason that happens today is obviously you lay down pixels and can cover up all kinds of uh, printing anomalies which are in there, but will you hide with a multi-pass system? It has been many people's desire for many years to simply lay down the pixels at both the resolution and the coverage to allow you, like a more traditional analog offset process, to simply move the media once past the pixels. Our single pass technology allows smallest drop sizes, variable dots to give you both coverage and uh, high uh, resolution, but at the same time, a recirculating ink system, which means that the product actually doesn't suffer at all from the Achilles heel of everyone else's inkjet, which is jet dropouts. So we are literally running kilometers of media with no print defect whatsoever. Always a thorny subject when people raise the question about closed inks versus open inks. Uh, clearly as a technology supplier, uh, we like to describe ourselves as both application and ink agnostic. What we are looking to do is develop uh, the digital printing process to put as many different fluids down on as many different substrates and as many different end applications. To do that, we see that if people try and continue with only closed systems, that will actually restrain the growth of digital print in the larger world of the print industry. Uh, we believe in end customer choice, open market access, and applications which are optimized for the final print. And hence, we partner with all the world's leading ink suppliers, offering them advantage to compete on an open basis with each other, with our technology, and in that way, we see the overall marketplace for digital print developing. What we offer now are basically three discrete platforms of products. So most of our business today is platform one, which you'll see many examples around at the show. Platform two, however, brings high resolution, but at much faster productivity. And hence, because of the fact that you now fundamentally only need two passes to print, uh, high quality wide format meter rather than typically you will see people producing 8 or 16 passes. The productivity gains of that means that the printer can print the job much later directly in line. Again, when you move to single pass inline print, obviously limited by a web size, actually the customer can actually print directly on demand, potentially right at the end of his packaging line or actually at his dispatch station. Five years from now, we would see the market applications being significantly more diverse. I think we will see functional fluids onto flexible substrates. And by that, the fluids may be uh, fluorescent, they may be electronically conductive, they may be insulative. Uh, so you'll be looking at not just putting down color, but putting down functionality. I think you will see a rapid rise of high productivity digital sync inkjet press engines which will seriously challenge the analog print quality standards and I think you'll start to see a movement into much higher uh, color management and color quality systems uh, which again will challenge that analog space. 
the advice that I would give to the market is uh, be brave, be open-minded. Uh, as a leading technology company, and there are a number of us, most of us have only really just started. So if you think there's an amount of change that's happened in the last 10 years, it'll be nothing compared to the next 10.